GoToMeeting. This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Online meetings made easy. I know karate. The Republicans and Democrats are in the middle of negotiations now uh, over the tax cuts and unemployment benefits. Uh, Democrats don't want the unemployment benefits to run out for about two million people. Um, and uh, Republicans say, who cares? Uh, tough luck for them. Uh, and the Republican priority, for, and, and by the way, I'm being quite literal there because they're the ones blocking it and saying, no, we don't want them to get unemployment benefits because they say it costs too much money. Now, that costs uh, $60 billion uh, to extend the unemployment benefits, right? So that's a lot of money, right? But on the other hand, the Republicans are saying, we demand tax cuts for the richest people in America. And guess how much that costs? $140 billion. So, of course, it costs twice as much as it does to give relief to people who are unemployed. So this is the debate that they're having right now, currently, between the Republican and the Democrats. Now, if you're... a a regular American out there, think about that. Who's on your side? Now, if you're among the mega rich, well, it's obvious. The Republicans definitely got your back. But if you run into a little bit of trouble, or you're an average American, <laughs> I mean, look at the priorities of the parties. One of them is saying, damn the unemployed in the middle of the Great Recession, right? Uh, our, ta our rich got to get our tax cuts, okay? And when they know that the tax cuts, according to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, has the worst multiplier effect, meaning that it, out of all the things that the government can do, it gives you the worst results to stimulate the economy. But they don't care. they got to get their tax cuts for the rich. And the Democrats, instead of beating them up over it, are like, okay, if you give us $60 billion to help people, then we'll give your rich people $140 billion. For the love of God, man, fight, fight, fight. The other side fights. They fight for their rich and their friends and their allies. Look at the Chamber of Commerce. That's another report that's out today. The Chamber of Commerce, of course, pretends to be in favor of all businesses, small businesses, big businesses. But the reality is they're actually in favor of the CEOs, the executives who run very large public businesses, generally speaking. Okay, And a, a great point made by a new organization, and they're called uh, the U.S. Chamber Watch, and their labor unions put that together, to keep an eye on the Chamber of Commerce, which is right-wing and against labor interests makes sense they they made a great point they said hey listen uh, we uh, figured out who is getting these tax cuts and first of all let me tell you the most obvious thing uh, the corporations aren't getting the tax cuts we're talking about in this case uh, the income tax that's a personal income tax so the executives the really rich executives of these companies if they don't get a, a tax cut they're not going to hire people for their companies out of spite? That doesn't make any sense. Those two things are unrelated. It's not like the CEO of, you know, name a company, General Motors, right? If he doesn't take home an extra couple hundred thousand dollars, he's going to fire a couple people at GM. He's not the owner of GM. He's the executive at GM. His personal income tax has nothing to do with how much GM hires or doesn't hire. I, look, honestly, I made that point before. I, I, it's so startlingly obvious. I don't know why that we aren't talking about that all the time, why the Democrats can't make that obvious point. And then second of all, what this uh, U.S. Chamber Watch has come up with is a list of executives that stand to benefit from the tax cuts that the Chamber of Commerce uh, is pushing. So, for example, Fox News, the corporation, actually it's News Corp is the parent corporation, gave a million dollars to the Chamber of Commerce to run ads for the Republicans. Now, did News Corp benefit? Maybe, maybe not. We're not sure. But we do know who did benefit. The CEO of News Corp, Rupert Murdoch. You know how much money he saves under the Republican tax cut proposal? The one that's likely to pass out the Republicans have won the House? He's going to pocket $1.3 million. Well, that works out great for Rupert Murdoch. Because think about it. That million dollars he spent isn't his money. It's the company's money. It's the shareholder's money. Now, he's a large shareholder, but there's, but he's a tiny percentage compared to the rest of the shareholders. So he spends their money, and he gets to bring home $1.3 million, and honestly, it doesn't have a damn thing to do with who News Corp hires or doesn't hire. It's all a lie to make the rich richer. Here are the real facts. And it's not just Rupert Murdoch. Don Blankenship, the guy who runs Massey Energy. Remember, those are the 
coal mines that uh, 29 people just died in, uh, worst uh, mining disaster in decades, right? You know how much he makes off of the uh, tax cuts? $700,000. Goes straight into his pocket. Okay, and by the way, he was, of course, a former U.S. chamber board and uh, member, so these guys are all giving to the chamber, or they were part of the board of chamber, uh, and go to David Cote, CEO of Honeywell. That's a, a massive uh, defense contractor, and he's on that deficit commission of Obama's. Yeah, he's going to tell you to cut defense, right? He's not going to go for that. And by the way, the tax cuts save him $1.2 million. When you go to the CEOs of the big banks, they may stand to make anywhere between $700,000 and $1.6 million each. When you go to the CEOs and executives of the healthcare companies, they stand to make $335,000 to $875,000, all based on the tax cuts for the rich that do not go back into their companies to hire more people. It goes in straight into their pocket. That's it. And that's the, the real motivation of the Republican Party. And it has nothing to do with creating more jobs. Young Turks have a new sponsor, GoToMeetings. Online meetings made incredibly simple. You can set it up in two minutes and you can talk to anyone from anywhere. And it's only $49 a month and it's unlimited. You can actually go to gotomeeting.com slash Turks and get a 30-day trial. I never heard anybody.